There isn't really a way to build back enamel. Once we've lost it, we've lost it. However, there are some remineralization things that we could incorporate to help remineralize areas that are just slightly breaking down. And that's where we like fluoride. The hydroxyapatite is really, really good for those type of situations. If it's significant tooth loss, those products aren't gonna do anything for us. It could help desensitize them, but that's gonna be about it. You still need to go in and have the dentist actually restore those areas of your teeth. If you have hypersensitive teeth, it's probably going to be the water. If anything, you want to rent or use like warm or hot water, even when they're brushing their teeth with toothpaste, you want to use a non-abrasive toothpaste as well, because the, the super abrasive toothpaste will maybe cause more sensitivity with those patients. So if someone has damaged enamel, more than likely, we're not going to recommend bleaching their teeth. And once again, if it's damaged enamel and it's something that needs to be handled by a professional, by all means, you want to see your dentist first. You want to stop at a kiosk in a mall and like whiten your teeth because that's going to create even more sensitivity for you. But because one of the biggest side effects to whitening your teeth is increased sensitivity, if you have someone that has sensitive teeth, I highly advise them not to really whiten their teeth at all. You can use maybe some hydrogen peroxide based products. So there's toothpaste that have maybe a little whitening to it. And same with mouthwashes. There are some whitening mouthwashes that may not create that sensitivity that actually putting a product on your teeth and allowing it to sit on there for at least, you know, 10 to 30 minutes, that's going to create a lot of sensitivity for those patients.